Ladies, are you ready? Yes, okay. May we call on our first finalist, candidate number one, Dale Ivory Lee. Dale, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Yes, I am. You are? But I'm under the strong influence of exuberance as of the moment. Wow. Okay. Sige. Our first question for the night for candidate number one. What Philippine tourist destination would you say compares with your beauty and why? Good evening, everyone. I believe that Philippine destination that compares to my beauty is definitely my own city, Valenzuela City. Because as we all know, Valenzuela City is hailed as number one in governance and highly urbanized. We have the most hospitable people and everyone in us has the heart for tourism. All of us will work hand in hand for the upliftment of our own city. And definitely I am the kind of person who will use my innermost capabilities just to be able to uplift my fellow men's capacities. Thank you. Wow. Very fluent answer. Impressive. Impressive. She didn't even flinch. Yes. And she knows a lot about her city of origin. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, candidate number one, Dale Ivory Lee. And for our second candidate, sorry, we have number eight, Raylin Yamanucci. We have an interpreter for candidate number eight. How are you? Ana tano na maiwan ng deska? Atasin na maiwan yaman ng chirey na rindes. Wow. Oh, she's from Japan. Okay. Here's your question, candidate number eight. If you are asked to promote the Philippines abroad using only one tourist attraction or destination, what would it be and why?観光名称が説得しますか理由も伝えてください。こんばんは。もし私が他の国にフィリピンのいいところを紹介するとしたら、私が選ぶのはバタアンです。なぜかというと、このお茶南フィリピンのおかげで。First, we want to say say hi to all of you guys who attend here in this uh, competition tonight. And if she has a chance to promote the Philippines tourism abroad, she wants to choose the Pataan. And the reason is, Pataan um, no this is because in Bayang, Bayang, Bataan, there's a lot of historic called the house, and this is the first time you can see the, she can see the historical house in this area. So she wants to promote this historical and traditional house to all over the world. Okay, so thank Bataan. you very much. Bataan it the is. The city of choice. Thank you very much, candidate Thank you Nambi. very much. Okay, next up, we have finalist number nine. Jillian Christine Deveza. Don't 
don't worry. Small talk, small talk. So how are you feeling? I'm very, I'm nervous, thirsty, but I'm still aiming for that crown. Aiming for that crown. Determined, determined individual here we have. Yeah, I mean, it's blood, sweat, and tears. You gotta really work hard. It's competition. Okay. Candidate number nine, here's your question. Which of the following for you is the country's best feature? A, our beautiful natural attractions. B, our beautiful and rich heritage. Or C, our beautiful warm and friendly people. And please explain your answer. For me, the very best attraction would be the very wonderful people in the Philippines. Because as they say, it's more fun in the Philippines because of the people who welcome the tourists here, who are very hospitable in sending an open message that people from all over the country are welcome here. They are the very reason why people from different areas come to stay here and also come back again to visit the Philippines. Hey, yes, good answer. it is more fun in the Philippines. Indeed it is. Thank you very much, candidate number nine. And next, we have candidate number 17, Mutya Joanna Datul. So your name's Mutya. Yeah, <laughs> so your name is Mutya. Is that a sign for uh, greatness? Hopefully, it's right. That's my name is Mucha, and I hope that I will crown as Mucha in the Philippines. She will we'll be Mutya, Mutya. We'll see. Okay, Mutya, here's your answer. Uh, question, sorry. Ecotourism is fast becoming a major component of the whole tourism industry. What destination would you recommend to an ecotourist to visit here in the Philippines, and why? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For me, I would prefer Isabella province because Isabella is, has a hidden paradise. That Isabella has a natural resources and beauty scenic spot. And that for me, ma'am, that I promote Isabella to the different country because Isabella is a beautiful town in the Philippines. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, number 17, Mutia Joanna Datul. Lots of national resources, Isabella. Beautiful, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Next up, we have finalists, number 20, Diane Joyce Ramirez. And um, how are we feeling today? I'm very nervous tonight, uh, but I'm hopeful that I'll get the crown. Yes, we have a determined group of candidates tonight. Okay, Diane, here is your question. The Department of Tourism campaign, It's More Fun in the Philippines, was created with foreign tourists in mind. If you were asked to create a tourist campaign for local tourists, what slogan would you use to encourage Filipinos to see more of their own country? If I were to choose a slogan for our country, I would choose, um, Philippines is a country with a lot of things to offer that has to be discovered. We should discover our own country for us to appreciate all the wonderful things that we had, we have here in our country, especially our natural resources and especially the man-made attractions that the hospitable people of the Philippines made. That would be all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Diane Joyce. Thank you very much Candidate. for that answer. Candidate number 20. Next, we have candidate number 21, Kareen Adrian Ramos. Thank you. You're very welcome, Maggie. Okay, Corinne, here's your question. We share many similarities with our neighboring countries in Southeast Asia. 
What do you think makes the Philippines a unique tourist destination from, say, Thailand or Malaysia? I believe that although different countries have same uh, uniqueness or same capabilities, I think we are unique because if it's more fun in the Philippines, we have the very generous, hospitable Filipinos that welcome our tourists and other foreigners in the country. That's why we always smile, we welcome them and say, Mabuhay! Thank you. Yes, the Philippines is unique. Okay, thank you very much, candidate number 21. Thank you very much, candidate number 21. Adrian Ramos. Next up, we have candidate number 24, Emma Diglao. Okay, Emma, here's your question. To love one's country is to appreciate all good and beautiful in it. How would you teach a Filipino child to love and appreciate his or her country? Good evening. I will teach a child by having a strong personality, a kind-hearted person, a friendly, a people-oriented, and most especially, a God-fearing individual who recognizes the ultimate power of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. Because of that, a child will see how beautiful our nature is. That will be all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, candidate God number 24. God-fearing God person. Thank you, Emma. Next, to round out the top three, we have candidate number 25, Rizini Alexis Gomez. Miss Swimsuit, best in swimsuit. How are you feeling? Good. I'm nervous, but happy all the same. <laughs> okay. All right, candidate number 25. Here is your question. As a Mutiana Pilipinas 2012 candidate, you had the opportunity to travel to Pampanga, Cebu, and Bataan. What is the most important thing that you have learned from these travels? Good evening to each and everyone. The most important thing that I have learned from these travels is the importance and value of preserving the culture and heritage of our country. We wouldn't want only to show other countries that we are very vibrant, but we are also home of the world-class, talented, and skillful Filipinos that help bring about the best of what our country has to offer everyone. And then we can proudly say it's more fun in the Philippines. Thank you. Wow. Okay. What a very eloquent answer. I agree. Candidate number 25. Very um, eloquent. All right, next up, our last two in the top 10. Candidate number 28, Lara Grace. Lala? Lakap? Did I get that correct? Lakap. Lakap. There you go. There you go, Miss Maggie. Okay, Lara, here is your question. What positive cultural traditions or age-old Filipino values would you use to encourage foreigners to come to the Philippines? The Filipinos are known for being hospitable, warm welcome. And one thing that I want to promote for, to other countries is the Filipinos are warm welcome and they, even if we we encounter many problems, we still manage to smile, and we still stand up despite of being, despite, despite of hardships. That's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you very, very much, much, Lara. Very hospitable people we are, Filipinos. Yes, we are. And we always smile in spite of smile. hardships. Okay, our last? Our last contestant is candidate number 29, Camille Guevara. Very sorry, slippery hands today. Baka you're nervous because you're yeah. around, you know, so yeah. many beautiful oh, women. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's been hard for me since this. Okay, candidate number 29. 
Here's your question. Would you, who would better promote and market the Philippines abroad as a tourist destination? A man or a woman and why? For me, a woman. As a, one of the ambassadors of tourism, I would promote the Philippines by being one, one of its ambassador of it. By being one of its ambassador of it, I would participate in all the activities of the Department of Tourism. By this, I can help the tourism in promoting the Philippines tagline, it's more fun in the Philippines. Okay. Woman power. And there you have it. The last of our top 10 candidate, number 29, Camille Thank Guevara. You Thank you very much. Okay, you heard it straight from the 10 beautiful ladies. When we return, we will find out who our Mutya no Overseas Communities is going to be. So don't go away. Back to our exciting search throughout the ages. Filipinos have circled the globe to find homes wherever it is their journeys take them. This has inspired the continuing growth of Filipino practices, customs, and beliefs all over the world. It is in this spirit that we, uh, that we award the Mutiano Pilipinas Overseas Communities. This year's Mutiano Overseas Communities will receive $2,000 cash, a crown, a trophy, 100,000 peso gift certificates from Zen Institute, whitening dental package from GAOC by Dr. Gan, 20,000 pesos worth of FNC jewelry, a scholarship package for hotel and sales and marketing and front office operation from Canadian Tourism and Hospitality Institute, 10,000 pesos worth of gift certificates from direct shopping, one year supply of Everbalena cosmetics and products, a scholarship certificate from informatics, and 10,000 pesos worth of gift certificates from Zumanity Group. And to crown the new Mutiano Overseas Communities is last year's winner, Bayo Rose Santiago from Canada. Bea. Now may I please have the envelope, please. I have with me Mr. Manny Reyes. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, the Mutia. Mutiano Overseas Communities is none other than... Take a good guess, my friends. The winner is candidate number 10, Marby Tiburcio from Northern California. And to present the award and prizes is Mutiano Pilipinas Incorporated Director, Mr. Michael Tan. Mr. Michael Tan, and congratulations to candidate number 25, Marby Tiburcio from Northern California, our Mutiano Overseas Communities for 2012. One special title down, two more major titles to be relinquished, and here is one very exceptional lady who has worn the Mutiano Pilipinas crown with grace and beauty. So ladies and gentlemen, here's a last look at Mutiano Pilipinas International 2011, Vicky Marie Milagrosa Drushton.
And to serenade our reigning Mutianong Pilipinas is a stylish young gentleman of many talents, a model, an actor, a musician, and my dashing co-host, ladies and gentlemen, Marky Strom and his band. Through a wish and a well, don't ask me, I never tell. I look to you as I fell, now you're in my way. I thread my soul for a wish, pennies and dimes for a kiss. I wasn't looking for this, but now you're in my way. Your stare is old and ripped jeans, skin is short. Hot night wind is blowing, where do you think you're going, baby? Your stare is old and ripped jeans, skin is showing. Hot night wind is blowing, where do you think you're going, baby? I just met you, this is crazy Here's my number, so call me me It's hard to look right at you, baby Here's my number, so call me me Took your time with a call, I took my time with a fall. You gave me nothing at all. Still you're in my way. Beg, borrow, and steal. Have false sight and it's real. I didn't know I would feel it, but it's in my way. Your snare is holding, ripped jeans, skin is showing. Hot night wind is blowing. Where do you think you're going, baby? Your snare is holding, ripped jeans, skin is showing. When where do you think you're going, baby? I just met you. This is crazy. Here's my number, so call me maybe. It's hard to look right at you, baby. Here's my number, so call me maybe. So bad, I miss you so bad. I miss you so so bad. Before you came into my life, I miss you so bad, and you should know that I miss you so I just met you, and this is crazy. Here's my number, so call me maybe. And all the other girls try to chase me. Here's my number, so call me maybe. Thank you so much, Marky Strom and his band, and to Miss Vicky Marie Milagrosa Rushton, our gorgeous reigning queen. And now, here's the windfall of fabulous prizes awaiting the next Mutiana Pilipinas title holders and their court of beauties. <laughs>
Luciano Filipinas 2012 Top 10 finalist, so don't go away. A symbol of Filipino womanhood that highlights the Filipinas natural beauty and elegance. Here, as we take a final look at the Banyan ng Pilipinas 2012, the Terno provides the alluring statement of grace and femininity. Here they are, in decidedly delicate incarnations of the Terno by the Philippines Ambassador of Fashion, Rene Salud. Our Mutiana Pilipinas 2012 Top 10 Finalists. Uh -huh.